Hey everyone, Dylan Schumacher, Citadel Defense, and we are back with another edition of American Minuteman Gear. And here we are going to talk about what I'm going to call leadership kit. And I'm just making that term up because that's my catch-all term for all of the admin, organizational, righty, mappy, land navy stuff that you should have in your gear. Even if you don't consider yourself some kind of leader, uh, that's fine. This is still stuff that you should consider having. I call it leadership kit, uh, just because typically, you know, like the team leader, squad leader, whatever, uh, patrol leader, is the guy who carries a lot more stuff like this, but really everyone would benefit from having this kind of stuff. Uh, so let's kind of go through with it, and it's just kind of little odds and ends that you should include in your kit. The very first thing, of course, obviously, is some kind of right in the rain notebook, notepad, whatever. Uh, this is the three by five version. I think this is the two by four uh, version. I usually prefer the three by five just because it's gonna give you a little bit more space to actually be able to doodle on here uh, versus this tiny one. Uh, but whatever, you gotta work. You should always have a notebook on your kit, in your pocket, whatever, uh, so that you, know, you can record notes. Notes are very important, even if it's just sketching out a quick range card, or if it's writing down some notes because you're scouting or whatever, you're gonna need to write stuff down. Carry notebooks. So the other deal that you should also have, of course, is a map case. Uh, I just got this one. I haven't tried it out yet or not. This is a or Ortlieb, Ortlieb uh, map case. And it's just a way to waterproof your map, right? Because if your map gets wet, that's bad. That should be pretty common sense. A Ziploc gallon plastic bag will probably work just fine too. You don't have to get all fancy with a map case. The other thing, and this is what I just call my like land nav admin kit, right? So I have a compass. I keep a base plate compass in here because that's much easier to take uh, directions and azimuths on a map than it is with a lens static compass. So I keep that in here. I keep a bunch of map pens in here so that I can mark up the map. I don't know if these can write on this specific map case, but I'll use that to write on laminated maps and stuff like that and those wash away. And then I keep a military protractor in there, again, for determining azimuths keeping my lines straight when I'm drawing lines and whatever. But you need some kind of marking system and map kit system here so that you're able to navigate well. Uh, we've not done a land nav video. Maybe I'll do that at some point, but there are lots of good land nav videos out there. You don't need me to do one. Uh, figure out how to do some land nav, get out there and practice. You're also gonna need, of course, your lens static compass, but you should have one of those on your kit. This is just kind of the admin portion of the actual mapping and stuff like that. But have some kind of land nav kit. This might not necessarily go in your gear. It might be kind of in your supplementary bag that you use to mark up your map and then you leave this back at base camp, wherever that is. But you need something like this in order to organize your map. The other thing you should have is probably some kind of larger notebook cover. This is just a tactical notebook cover. I really like this thing. I've had it for a couple months now. And uh, in here, it just keeps my composition notebook. It has a couple pockets back here that I can put other papers. But then I'm able to write down all my notes. So every time I'm going to take a class, that's where I get used this a lot, I bring a new notebook and I keep all my notes for that class in one notebook. Uh, or if I'm gonna teach a class, sometimes I'll keep notes in here. But this is a great place for me to organize my notes. Uh, again, it's nice to have some kind of longer form paper when you need to make bigger notes for your team. Uh, also in here, I would highly recommend, you know, keeping a variety of pens, highlighters, and uh, a permanent marker because you'll never know when you might need a permanent marker. So that's where I just kind of keep my variety of pens. Obviously, it is nice because it all sticks together in this specific little fancy kit. But you need something like this sometimes and you need longer form notes that you can't just jot down quick. So again, this is probably more of a supplemental thing. Maybe this would stay in your pack if you're gonna bring it out because you need larger maps or whatever, uh, or this would just stay at base. But having some kind of longer form notebook cover uh, is helpful. Even if it's just because you take a couple classes every year and you take really diligent notes, always take notes at classes. Uh, this can be super helpful. The other version of this here, this is a battle board, uh, and this one just happens to fit a full uh, notebook, like a full, you know, eight and a half by 11 notebook. Uh, this one keeps a bunch of, you know, you can have a bunch of pens in here, and then uh, it's got this sleeve back here that you can zip things in and out of. But 
Again, same thing, just kind of different sizes, right? You decide what you want to do for you and what fits for you, but I definitely like keeping some kind of larger notebook around for those times when I need to make bigger sketches, bigger notes, whatever. And then I like having them in this, you know, tactical trapper keeper uh, just because it protects it from the elements in general, right? Like this is just normal paper. So if this gets wet, that's a problem. But keeping it in a case like this, it, it's going to be pretty robust and pretty protective from the elements. So I hope this was helpful when you kind of consider, you know, your leadership kit. Again, I put that in heavy quotes but some kind of organizational note-taking ability that's organized in a system with layers, right? Starting with the stuff that's always on you and then moving up to the stuff that you need sometimes off and on. Do brave deeds and endure.